Jonte Porter of the Toronto Raptors. He was banned from the NBA for life. Banned for life. So he was gambling as he's in the NBA. And we know that's a zero tolerance policy there. But this man had an NBA contract worth about $2 million. And when he was sports betting, he sacrificed it all for just under $22,000 in profit. So, you know, when I first heard this, I'm like, well, how the hell did they figure this out? Like, how did how do they find out when people are betting on games? And when I looked into it, I'm like, yeah, this was really his fault. <laughs> it wasn't like, you know, uh, something happened where he could be innocent. No, this was all his fault, bro. He was kind of being a dumbass. And, you know, he wouldn't be a dumbass if he didn't get caught because I'm a firm believer. Like, if he would have got away with it, we would have read this report and we would have seen, oh, his earnings was $15 million. We would have been like, damn, bro kind of smart. He got away with it. He did his... Like, we would have, you know, we would have gave him some props on that. But the fact that he got caught... By doing some stupid things is what makes it so much worse. So looking into it, he got caught because there was a the sports book that he betted with. There was multiple sports books, apparently, um, but they reported a surge in his betting numbers under his stats. There was a lot of bets going for the under of his totals and rebounds, points, assists, minutes, all kind of stuff. Anything you can bet on. It was a large, uh, a, a large spike in the under of everything in every category. So an organization that's partnered with these sports books, they ended up reaching out to the NBA and saying like, hey, there's this same account. They're betting on Murray. Um, and then they started betting unusual numbers. Now, in the reports, it was said that, you know, the, the bets ranged from $22 all the way to $22,000. And I'm like, damn, <laughs> that's a crazy spike. So it just lets you know, like, OK, whenever you betting or whenever these things happen that that these companies see on the back end, they, they take alert to that. They take alert to these unusual activities that happen of, OK, you usually bet fifty dollars, one hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. And then all of a sudden, 15 grand, 10 grand, four grand, like they actually pay attention to this stuff. And this is what got him busted because this ultimately led to the investigation in the NBA. Now, it gets even more interesting because as the NBA started looking into it and seeing like, well, what the hell is wrong with him? And like, you know, uh, uh, is this actually happening? Is he actually betting on himself, betting on the NBA games? Oh, man, it gets more and more sad because oh, the NBA, they found that Porter revealed information about his own health to other sports bettors that ended up spiking the numbers and the unders. But in these games that he were playing or the games that were betting on, he ended up leaving the game early on several occasions with injuries and illnesses that were going on. So how could this help your case? It's mass suspicious. It's mass suspicious. And now there was games where he was playing three minutes, then left the game early. Played four minutes, left the game early. Betting on the Raptors to lose multiple games. And best believe, each one of those games that the numbers were spiked in, they lost those games. So the NBA is like, okay, this isn't a big star. This is a guy who's barely getting minutes, who is a, a reserve type of guy, a guy who's only making $2 million in the league where the stars are making $22 million a year. So the league is like, all right, let's take a look at this. And yeah, eventually bro got bust because... He uh, placed at least 13 bets in the NBA. They found that he was using an associate's account. And uh, yeah, he didn't make a lot of money. So he really just messed up the bag. Bro fumbled. <laughs> he fumbled. And, and ultimately, to, to come up with only a, a little under $22,000 in profit, that's just sad. This is why I say you're a dumbass, bro. Because if you're going to bet on these games, start hitting hard, bro. You know, come right off the block betting 15 grand making sure you can take away some profit. I, I know it's a risk, but if you're going to take a risk like that, you can't be playing around, bro. You can't be baby taking baby steps to try and, you know, get to the ultimate goal here. And it's like, I'm looking at this like, what the hell you even need to bet on sports for anyway? Your contract is over $2 million or right at $2 million. Don't quote me on that. So what the hell is you doing betting on games? And I know you're trying to probably flip some money. Ain't no telling what he has going on you know, outside of um, his life and outside of the NBA, because 
These are real people. Maybe he has some stuff going on where he had to clear some debts. Who knows? But ultimately, you got you got to do a little bit better than that. You got to do a little bit better than that. Out of all the people who's getting minutes and, and all the different stats and the the people in the league that you can bet on, you choose to bet on yourself. And the way you mix it up is just not good. Going out the game multiple times, only playing three to four minutes. Oh, that ain't good. That ain't good. <laughs> yeah, bro folded that back. 